All right, everybody, welcome on in. We have the five beard trend reviewers here for this month, and today we are going to go around the horn. We're all we all have a package from Barden, and we're going to open them up, give you our first impressions, and then we're going to review them all month long. Followed by reviews at the end of the month and a big live stream at the end of November that is going to get you guys a huge discount code. Five different opinions. Maybe we agree, maybe we disagree. You're going to have to follow along with us all month long right here on YouTube on each one of these guys' channels and on the Beard Trends Facebook group as well. So first and foremost, I'm going to kick this off. I'm going to open my box and give you my first impressions, and we're going to do it right now. All right, so I got this awesome Canadian box that is super hard to open, but you basically just cut along the seams right here. You put your finger in here, and you pop it open, and this is the presentation that you get right away. So you saw a card that went flying, but you have this awesome sticker, this awesome tissue paper, and I'm just gonna dig in real quick here so you guys can see what's all up in here. And you have a card, a handwritten note from the owner, Adam. You have another card, check that out. And then you have a bunch of these Aubrey chores, as I like to call them, and it's that crinkle paper that's all recyclable, and you just kind of get it out of the way, however you can do it. And then you figure out what's in here. And right off the bat, let's let's just look how this is all nestled. Look at that. Pretty awesome, right? So then we pull out this awesome stuff in here. See what we have. So I have a frankincense and sandalwood beard oil. And I love these labels. I have used Barton before, so I really like these labels and the stories that are on them. I have an, a Beard Balm Plus, which is basically his extra strength beard balm. And if this wasn't in glass, it would be like rattling all over the place like Brian uh, likes to likes to do with his balms. But um, this is coffee and maple praline. And then I have Spearmint Pine and Musk Beard Wash. And this is your light stripping conditioning all in one type beard wash. So I'm just going to give you my first impressions real quick here. We're going to give him a shake and a snifferoo let you know what I think, and then I'm going to hand it on over to Patrick so he can show you what he's got and give you his first impressions. So here we go. Frankincense and sandalwood. Y'all don't know that I don't like sandalwood. Not a big sandalwood fan, but this is a new recipe of frankincense and sandalwood, so you want to make sure that I got to try it and see if it's any different from the old one. All right, that's a little bit different. The sandalwood is a lot more prevalent, but it's a super sweet sandalwood. This has a nice sweetness to it. I can get that frankincense in there. There's something else with the frankincense and sandalwood, but he doesn't really tell you. It's a mystery. The name is frankincense and sandalwood. I know that there might be something else in there. I'm picking it up, but who knows? We'll figure it out. This coffee and maple praline, I have smelled this before, um, so I know that it smells good. It's a very good coffee scent. Like You went in, you got a maple, coffee, pecan, praline, depending on what part of the countries you're from, uh, like a latte type thing almost. But it's super good. You get that real pungent coffee bean smell, but then it follows up with that amazing Canadian maple. And this is the Beard Balm Plus. So this is going to be a hard hold, like a super hard hold. In fact, it, it's pretty decently hard to get out. I had to put some pressure into that. Um, and then it takes a little bit of heat to melt down in your hand. But I'll talk about that a little bit more in the review. And then underneath the cap, you have the Barden labeled, uh, Barden branded guitar pick, which I think that's a nice little touch uh, that he throws in there for everybody to be able to get that balm out. And then you have the Spearmint Pine and Musk uh, beard wash. Again, I've used his beard wash before, uh, but I've not really tried this scent. So let's just give it a, a little snifferoo here and see what this smells like. Wow, that's really clean. That's just super clean. I don't get much pine. I don't get much musk either. I think the pine and the musk probably mix together pretty well because I get a minty clean scent right off of it right away. This is really good. I could see this in the shower. You get that hot, steamy water and anything mint, you know, beard wash is always good because you get that steamy water, you get the minty stuff. It feels like you're getting all clean and then it's like clearing up your nasal passages. So I'm excited to use that. I'm excited to use the oil and the balm. I'll pair them up with the, the like scents. Um, so that's the three products I have for you guys today, and I'm going to hand it on over to Patrick. He's going to go through uh, what he has, and make sure you guys check out his YouTube channel if you haven't, and 
make sure you're subscribed to all the beard trends, guys. Let's go. So I'm going to hand it on over to Patrick. He's going to show you what he has. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, as Tyson just said, I'm Patrick. Uh, I got beer tastic reviews on uh, my channel. Uh, got this lovely package. And as Tyson did, we're going to slide it right open. And everything's falling out of my package. Got a nice little handwritten card. <clears throat> Let's see. There's another card. You get some of this out of the way. Nicely snuggled in the little box. Um, uh, for the beard wash, we got spearmint, pine, and musk. Get a little sniff. Mmm, smells good. You can smell the spearmint. It's like more dominant. Uh, got the beard oil. And this is Moroccan spice and citrus. Oh, the Moroccan spice is dominant in this one too, and you can smell a little bit of the citrus too. <clears throat> and of course, the Bomb Plus. This is the coffee, maple, and praline. Oh, wow. This smells like uh, breakfast in a jar. This is really good stuff. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Mick, if Mick is ready. Hey, guys, thanks for joining. So this is uh, the package that I received from Barden. I'm not very good at opening these, but I will try. So same presentation over here with the Barden. And then I am going to read the note that I got because I do like reading the notes out to you guys. So it says, Mick, I'm happy that I'm able to complete your Barden collection with this new coffee and maple praline, as well as my high hold bomb enjoy. So yeah, I'm really excited about this uh, high hold bomb because I've, I've uh, used the, the regular bomb before, uh, but not the high hold. So... This is the packaging. I don't know if you can see it very well here. There you go. So it looks like I've got a couple of bombs in there and potentially an oil. So this is the uh, the Bomb Plus. So I'll be trying that out and seeing how that uh, holds compared to the regular bomb. And then this is the Beard Butter. And the uh, scent profile on the Bomb Plus was the coffee, maple, praline, and the scent profile on the butter is also the coffee, maple, praline. Can't see that with my lighting, but uh, that's what that is. And then I've also got the oil here, which is also in the coffee, maple, praline. I do have the um, I do have the other scents already, so uh, this is the scent that I got. I'm just going to take a quick whiff here. Okay, yeah, that's that smells like a ooh, sound, smells like maple syrup, which is uh, is a really really nice scent. Uh, it's actually kind of funny because before uh, he came out with, with this scent, I talked to Adam a little bit and said, you know, it'd be cool if we made a scent together, like a nice Canadian scent uh, that had maple in it. And he's like, I've already I've already got that coming up. So uh, it was just kind of funny that uh, around the same time we were kind of talking about the same same. Canadian type scent. So I think you guys are going to really like this scent and I can't wait to try it out this week and, uh, and see how it does. I'll, ca I'll, pa I'll pass it on to Kaz here. Hello, it is I, the, uh, the real Kaz. And uh, <laughs> believe it or not, I have the exact same box here from Barton, a very nice package, uh, as uh, Patrick put it. No insinuation of any sort. I've already opened it because I have z zero patience. If that, probably negative patience. I got myself. Oh, here. Let's uh, let's take a look at the letter here first. Got myself a little uh, pick. I can diddle away on my guitar with. Very excited for that. And for the beard wash, I have a spearmint, pine, and musk. And uh, I can't contribute as much in terms of the descriptive language that the lads, you know, uh, contribute. So I'm going to give you a good old narration. And yeah, Adam has these uh, nice little narrations up at the bottle here. And I figured I'd just read it out to you. 
So this one for the beard washes. A man proudly walked away from a fallen tree, his boots covered in moss and sawdust. And he thought this smelled good. Well, let's see how accurate that is. So definitely, definitely the pine is coming through. Doesn't smell as musky as I would hope, but the spearmint of the pine is really, really nice. Uh, let's take off my ring here. See what the consistency is here. Oh yeah, seems very runny, but at this, but then when it comes into palms, uh, that's basically what that looks like there. Awesome. Now, what else did I have? What, what else do I have in my little uh, box here? Just uh, take some of this out, make my desk all messy. Aha! Uh, the Moroccan Spice and Citrus, just like Patrick has. I, I think like some of the other guys also have this. Yeah, my light's not going to cooperate. But anyway, let's give this a smell. A man walked through this, the a souk in Casablanca carrying some saffron and fresh oranges, and he thought this smelled good. And it does. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. That Oh, yeah, the Moroccan Spice is so nice. That is just like an earthly dessert, um, or a you know, d d d yeah, definitely just like a nice, um, almost a pumpkin pie-ish overtone. Really, really nice. Awesome. I love that. I'm looking forward to using this. And here I got the the beard butter, the tobacco, bourbon, and leather. Um, let's give this one a smell. Ooh, <laughs> that is very strong. Uh, me with tobacco scents, it's it's hard to impress me. I, I can't say until I put it in a beard, but um, oh yeah, it's leathery. <laughs> oh boy, it's very leathery. So um, I, I, I might not like this one just because that's my personal preference. I, I can't say for sure just yet. Um, you know, tobacco scents aren't usually my thing, but hey, well, we'll, we'll give it a try. I'll let you know what, what uh, I think, and I'm going to just pass it on to Brian. All right, guys, I have got another package from Barden. Surprise. Uh, and as you can tell, I am no stranger to Barden's. I think this is package number three. So uh, I've got all the scents except for the newest one. So we'll be able to do some good comparisons on that. And Adam has just one of the best presentations in the game. Um, once we figured out how to open the box, and I kind of have figured that out now, but great presentation, great packaging. Uh, and, oh, and I haven't tried the high hole balm yet either. Uh, and I got some high hole balm in here and improved frankincense and sound sandalwood. I'm kind of like Tyson. I'm not a big sandalwood person, but I actually like the frankincense. So I have that in the beard wash and the beard oil already. And I really do like that. So, uh, we got some nice stuff on the inside. Reminds me of a bird's nest, but instead of protecting baby birds, we're protecting precious beard products from Canada. Anyway, we'll see what we've got in here. So I've got tobacco, bourbon, and leather beard butter, uh, and I know what that smells like. Oh, wait a minute. That might smell a little bit different than the other one. I've got, I've got to do a little comparison. And we also have... There's that beard balm plus uh, coffee, maple, and praline. I've never been a huge fan of coffee scents in my beard. I drink coffee. I love coffee. Um, so we'll see how this one goes. Yeah, exactly what it smells like, coffee and maple praline. And I was trying to tell. It looks like it might be just that shade darker because of the coffee uh, that might be in here. And I think I got one more. The frankincense and sandalwood. Yep, so that is the uh, new formula on that. Let's see what we've got. A little bit more woody. Uh, I guess that's the sandalwood part of it. Maybe less on the frankincense. Definitely smells a little bit different. Um, I think I'm gonna like that one too. Uh, anyway, we'll be checking that out. Uh, let me send that back to Cass. He's gonna do a final wrap up for us. So yeah, basically, uh, all of us lads are going to be review, you know, releasing, uh, you know, just collective reviews of all the products that we have received this year month. Uh, so go down into the description there. All of our channel links will be down there. Um, 
And then at the end of the month, we haven't decided on whose channel it's going to be hosted on yet. Oh, no, sorry. It's going to be hosted on Faithfully Bearded's channel, uh, Tyson's channel, uh, the live stream where we give you a giant, and I mean absolutely enormous, discount code. You're not going to want to miss it. Go check it out. It's going to be towards the end of, end of the month. Uh, check us out on Facebook, on the Beard Trend uh, Facebook group. And if you join us there, you'll be completely in the loop in terms of where that's happening, when it's happening, yada, yada, yada. You get the idea. And uh, hopefully you'll join us there. Cheers. <laughs> it's the outro on Brian's channel, if anyone didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep this in. This is really good. This is a good bit. Hi, Kaz. Yeah. Hey, Kaz. What's going on? You went in the... That's not Kaz. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>